One story that is continuing to alarm citizens around the country, the mysterious appearance. Get this, pile of bricks literally being stationed near the sites where these protests and riots ultimately become. They're staging it. Joining us now to report on that disturbing story, he's in our West Coast Bureau tonight, our chief breaking news correspondent, Trace Gallagher. So they're literally staging weapons in a, that they're going to use that evening to throw the bricks at the cops, Trace? Is that the, how we interpret that? Because that's, that's what it looks belief. like. Yeah, that's the belief shot. I mean, you have these piles of bricks and rocks showing up, as you said, near the various protest sites in cities like New York, Kansas City, Dallas, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And none of the sites are near construction areas, leaving many to assume the bricks were planted by outside agitators specifically to stir up trouble. In fact, the New York Police Department says it has evidence that anarchist groups were pushing the protest toward violence and vandalism. Federal law enforcement officials say the violence points to far left groups like Antifa. Others say far right groups might also be involved. And many of the looters don't need to be supplied with bricks and rocks because they show up with their own tools in hand, well prepared to destroy property. Police in Minneapolis also found caches of stolen vehicles and incendiary devices in areas where numerous fires have broken out. And in Baltimore, more, there's evidence of double danger. Police have been sweeping the downtown area after, get this, finding both bricks and bottles with potential accelerants already inside them. But instead of being left out in the open piles, these potential weapons are kind of being hidden in small areas, though it's unclear if they are associated with the protests or groups on either side of the spectrum. Sean. All right, Trace Gallagher, thank you for that report. Yep.